There's churches of, you know, 10,000, lar- lar- large auditoriums, stuff like that, all types of churches that are meet on Sunday morning. The question is for every individual that's in the room worshiping God, are they, what cup are they pouring their lives into? What cup are you being poured into? Because there's some day that we're all going to be together. We'll not be bound by church walls or building walls. We won't be bound by state lines. We won't be bound by anything. We'll be together worshiping God in heaven because of Jesus. What an awesome picture that is. What a great picture that is. That's the hope. That's the goal. The question is whether you are 5 or 95. In your life, what cup are you being poured out into? Young people, as you plan out your life, what is your priority? Look, this is not a say like everyone must go into ministry. No, not at all. I want Christian doctors, teachers, lawyers, nurses, uh, garbage men, uh, preachers too, right? Because there's some out there. I'm just kidding. Uh, But, uh, you know, no matter what you do, police officer, like, are you doing that thing for the kingdom of God, for his glory, honor, and praise to reach those around you? Are you being light where God has placed you? Look, I just want to thank you, RCC. What an honor it's been. Seven years. It's fitting. That's God's number. So, like, I can't go anymore. Like, it just, you know, I got to. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, but what an honor it's been to help lead, to preach the word, to, to help you all walk with the Lord. And the job is not done. It's never going to be done. And my hope is that we all strive to live lives that look like Jesus. That's it. To be a Christian is to look like Jesus. It's to follow his commands, to love as he does, and to live as he did. My hope, my prayer, is that every one of you pours their lives into the kingdom of God no matter what occupation you have, no matter how many kids you have, to pour your life in the kingdom of God. And, and here's the thing, it doesn't mean that you have to, once again, go into full-time ministry. No, minister where you're at. Minister where you're at to the people around you, to your neighborhood, to your side of town, wherever it may be. And my hope and my prayer is that as I look, right, right like, I, once again, half an hour away. No, I will not give you my address, Penny, so you can come annoy me. I'm not going to do it, okay? No, but, but no, like you will see me again. But my hope and my prayer is that as I watch and I see God continue to do amazing things through Ross Christian Church. It's been amazing. I've grown. I've learned. I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I can look back and see that I served this church well, Not perfectly, not at all. Ask Penny once again. But it's not perfectly. But I've served this community. I've laughed. I've cried with a lot of you. I've cried with a lot of people outside these walls. And it's been an honor. And I do it again. Let's thank God. Let's go. God in prayer. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, God, that the mission does not end that you are God and that you are good and you have a plan for every one of us, Lord, and we can lay our heads on a pillow at night knowing that your plan is good. But Lord, let us, let us be sober-minded and think about these words of Paul to preach the word, to share the gospel with those in need. God, the workers, the, the, the harvest is plenty, the workers are few. God, let RCC take that to heart and as they move forward to be workers of the harvest for your glory and honor and praise. We thank you, we love you, amen. Would you stand and sing with us? If you need prayer, if you wanna make a decision for the Lord, come forward. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the 
Sunday that we come in here that we don't have victory in you because we do God you are worthy of praise because we are forgiven made new in Christ Jesus Lord let us wear that wear that title and wear that banner with pride and to tell the world what the amazing things you are doing that and that you have done God we thank you we love you we ask this on your name Lord and I also pray that you bless this food that we're about to eat um, use it for the health of our bodies and yes thank you just for fellowship and for family Lord we thank you we love you we ask this on your name amen oh, okay. We just wanted to thank you for your service to this uh, congregation and to this community. Uh, we just want to thank you for your passion, leading those to Christ, and just you know want to thank you for your friendship. Um, we love you. We w wish you well in this next chapter of your life. And if it's okay with you, we'd like to kind of pray pray over you uh, to <laughs> to start this next chapter. Heavenly Father and gracious Lord, uh, what a beautiful day that you've given us here, Father. Um, happy and sad at the same time, um, but we're so thankful for uh, blessing us with Ryan for seven years, almost to the day, I believe. Um, you know, we're so thankful for the passion, uh, the energy that he brings, and yes, his quirkiness <laughs> and his humor that we've all come to love. Father, we just... Um, you know, pray and, and is with Ryan that he continues to bring uh, the loss to you uh, and provide um, 
we ask that you provide Ryan with that wisdom and knowledge. And we just, um, you've just brought us so many blessings. And, and continue those blessings with Ryan and his family as they continue their new journey. Um, as Ryan spoke earlier here about the cup, we know that Ryan's cup has poured out here at Ross Christian Church, but we know his cup is uh, being poured into another ministry. And we ask that you continue to lead and guide him in all that he does. For it's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Um, sorry for all the technical difficulties today. I, I truly apologize. Uh, to let you know, we have started the minister search. Um, we'll try to keep you updated as that goes. For the time being, for the next four weeks, Steve Owens is going to do a sermon. Um, he's preached here many times, so. <laughs> I got to pray real hard for you all. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, our, our numbers are on the bulletin, and uh, just uh, let's have a, a nice meal, with, share with Ryan. And I will be out front. If you can't make it, I'll be out front so I can see you as you go as well. So that we'll see you all.